Hello, YouTube. As you can see, I got mail. Yay, let's unenvelope this thing. Exciting. <laughs> Even more exciting. All right, let's get down and dirty. Ah, yes, G Skill RAM. Very, very nice. Here they are. G Skill, G -skill RAM with uh, 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 heat spreaders. And it's DDR400, PC3200, and it's two one gigabyte sticks. So I'll have a total of four gigabytes of RAM in this machine. So I have a, I have a four year old build that will have four gigs of RAM, so it'll be running fast. And plus, I have both 64 bit operating systems on this computer. So, yeah, it's going to help this baby a lot. I are happy. And I may be mixing brands, but the timing I got the same. The timing on my RAM is 2325, as opposed to a lot of the other RAM, which has different timing. But it's the same timing as the RAM that's already in there. And the RAM I have in there is Patriot RAM with heat spreaders. So, we should be able to do this thing. Anyway. I am going to take the RAM out, and I'll get back to you then. As you can see, uh, RAM nowadays comes in little plastic things, which is really nice. Look at this RAM. It's just gorgeous looking, you have to admit. People may call DDR400 useless now, but I don't, because I still use it. Because I like to prolong the life of my computers as much as possible. Through software, which is, you know, Linux and Windows 7, really. Hell, I ran Vista with DDR400. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll move this RAM over here. Take the scissors and put them over here. I'm special. Anyway, let's open up my baby. Here we are. My cable management sucks. Yay! Here are the sticks of RAM that you can't see at all. There is one end of a stick of RAM that's already in there, the Patriot RAM right there. I have two free slots, I'm going to put the RAM in there. So, let's get to it, shall we? I'm going to do it with the power of video editing. Whoosh! Magic! I used the flash on my keys to show you. I have a shit with the keys, so... There you go. The blue ones are the new ones. Hey, it rhymes. That's nice. Blue and red, how patriotic am I, right? Ah, oh, crap. I dropped my keys. <laughs> anyway, I got the RAM in. Now let's uh, put this thing back up and boot up into an operating system and just make sure the system recognized all of it. I also got a sticker. Yay, stickers. I'll have to put that on here. Powered by G-Skill. These are the rest of my stickers, by the way. That's the processor I have in here, an AMD Athlon X2. 64-bit one, obviously, because there's a giant 64. Nintendo 64! <laughs> Sorry. I have an Avermedia TV card in here, and I have the G-Skill RAM, which is only taking up two gigabytes of it. The other is the Patriot. Now, let's move this stuff out of the way. Turn the sound on, obviously. Got to turn the tube stuff on so it'll warm up. And this is the first boot since putting the new RAM in. Let's give it a go. Everything seems to be in order. As they say in Half-Life. Okay, the BIOS went up a little bit slower than usual. I'm guessing because it's like WTF RAM what? LOL what? <laughs> As they say. All right, now I'm going to boot up into Windows because I know exactly where to go to check uh, to see if it recognized it. And I can do this quickly. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Flag. I'll also check in Linux as well, just to appease you Linux people. 
Ah, the windows sound through tubes. It makes it a lot better than it normally sounds. Bill Coleman. That guitar sounded pretty good, actually. Wow. All right. I'm going to turn the sound way down. Because that's kind of loud. And right-click computer, go to properties. Hello, Dolly. We got four gigs of RAM in here. That's awesome. All right, it recognized it. Yeah! All right, that's that. Now let's go to Linux. Now it says 3.75 usable. I no idea why it says that, but eh, whatever. Eventually I should probably get uh all the same RAM, but it's all the same stuff, so it should work just fine, you know. Let's boot into Linux now. And this would be uh, K Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Lynx. Flashy, 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 flashy. Yes, take your sweet time. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That was fast. And there we are at the KDE login screen. Just, da, 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 da. That's fast. Wow. Ah, the beautiful KDE sound. I seriously love the new KDE sounds. They sound, they're just so pleasant on the ears. And they just sound, it's just, it's nice. I love them. <laughs> oh, wow. This is my background, by the way. This is a record cover. Julian Bream plays Vila Lobos. Now, I've never listened to the actual record, but look at that. It got a hummingbird, you know, getting water out of a guitar-shaped leaf. How cool is that? I mean, wow. Guitar, violin, maybe, cello, I don't know. It has that general guitarist shape. Anyway, is there a way to check for RAM? There has to be. Uh, noob moment, oh my god. About me. <laughs> it's gotta be an advanced someplace. Uh, hardware. Yeah, anyway, I have four gigs of RAM, Windows told you so. I'm, uh, very confused about that. Anyway, I don't know where to find it in KDE. I'll find it eventually. Whatever. But there you go. I got four gigs of RAM now. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.